G'day guys. Now we're going to talk a little bit about SCM today because uh, a couple of things. I know, look, it's one of those muscles that really do go under the radar and I know there's a lot of people out there that have a lot of difficulty working it. But I'm going to give you a couple of reasons of why we actually work SCM. Yes, we definitely work it because of obviously muscle tension headaches. It's one of those key muscles that we um, will always treat. Obviously the trigger points refer up into the head. But something that sort of goes under the radar, because I love things that go under the radar, if we investigate a little bit of the anatomy, and it's been documented that there can be a opportunity for nerve entrapment of the SCM, and that's to do with your accessory nerve. So for those of you who aren't familiar with it, obviously the accessory nerve's coming down through out of that, that jugular area. And what happens is it comes down and it splits off into two directions. It'll come down, supply the traps, and it also comes down and supplies our SCM. So we're looking at the sternal head here, coming coming up here, obviously all the way down, attaches on to the clavicle and the sternum, okay? So obviously into that sternal port and then into the clavicle. So what we're looking at is the belly of the SCM in this area here. And it's in this area here where you can see a nerve entrapment happen. Now what will happen if that's the case is sometimes you might start to get some weakness in this sort of mid trap fiber. And as you well know, if you pick up your trap and give it a squeeze, it's always really tender. Large chunk of the time is you're probably squeezing that accessory nerve as opposed to a trigger point. So keep that in mind too when you are treating upper traps or mid trap fibres. So what's important when we are treating traps, I mean obviously if we're treating trap dysfunction or we're treating SCM, whether it be muscle tension headaches, but you know that they're getting referral into the trap or there may be some level of weakness there, is that we need to be working that SEM and we need to be working it up high. Now, in order to get to your SEM and be able to work it, because let's face it, sometimes just doing a pincer grip, it'll slip out and obviously that will agitate your client. So what you've got to do is you've actually got to move your head over towards the direction. And what that does is it loosens the SEM. So that way you can actually grip it Okay, so you can pick it up here. And then what you're doing is that once it's loosened, you can drag. So you're gonna lift and then drag the tissue towards the front, okay? So it's a lift and a drag. So you're picking up almost the back fibers and you're also picking up <coughs> the anterior fibers. So you're doing this little lift, okay? And then you're gonna drag at the same time, all right? But the muscle has to be on a shortened position, okay? If you've got them in a lengthened position, you'll just keep slipping off it. So you need to bring the head across, loosen off the muscle, pick it up, and then basically lift and then drag across. Lift and drag. And you're gonna drag from the posterior fibers forward to the anterior. You haven't got much room, okay? So you're basically gonna pick it up and then you're gonna hook into the back of the posterior fibers and then you're basically just gonna drag that tissue across. And it's only a small amount. You don't need a huge amount. It won't allow you to do that. I mean, yes, we can look at obviously working the trigger points. There's no doubt about that, picking up, obviously working through there, through the range. You've seen me do that stuff beforehand. <clears throat> more than happy to go through that again. But in terms of looking at an accessory nerve entrapment, which certainly goes under the radar, obviously the nerve branches off, obviously it feeds the uh, SCM itself, but it also goes down into the traps itself. So keep in mind guys, when you're working SCM, are you working the trigger points or is there the potential for an accessory nerve entrapment further up the chain here, okay? And remember the go-to is relax, okay? So you need to bring your head across over to that side that'll loosen that SEM, and then you're gonna lift, okay? Pick and lift, and then you're gonna drag forward. Pick and lift, and drag forward, okay? Making sure that their head's in that position. And that is specifically what we're doing there, is that we're trying to open up that area where the accessory nerve goes down. So that's just a tip bit for you guys for next time you're treating SEM or any of that anterior neck stuff. As I always say, just be awesome at what you do.